welcome the court's questions. Uh, you start your uh, argument with the major questions doctrine. Do you need that to win? We do not, Your Honor. We think that the text is clear. Uh, the court can use any of the tools of statutory construction. It can focus on the particular words and context, but major questions and the, clear, and the federalism clear statement canon are also textual tools of construction, and we think the court can and should use that as well. So what is the difference between uh, clear statement and uh, major uh, questions? So there are multiple versions of the clear statement canons. Major questions is one of them. The federalism canon is a different version of the clear statement canon. The clear statement part simply says what we assume would be in the statute, how clearly Congress would speak before courts are willing to find this agency power. So major questions is one version of the clear statement so canon. So what, what factors would we take into account to determine which canon or which approach we would use? I think it's important to look at what the constitutional norms in question are. Canons like major questions are grounded in separation of powers. It's grounded in common sense presumptions about how legislators would operate. It's the words that we expect Congress would put in the statute. When this court deals with major questions, it is focused on the nature of the power at stake. Here, because there is transformative power that crosses industries and goes outside of EPA's core competency, this is, this is the area where this court has been willing to apply the major questions canon before, and we argue that it should do so here. No, I, I'm, I think I was uh, just trying to get a little bit more specific. Uh, what is it about this case that suggests we should use one or the other canon? Certainly. The power that EPA was claiming, and the Clean Power Plan is one example of that power, and the power the D.C. Circuit gave it to go further, would be a new and transformative um, variety of agency power. That is a, a major policy question, and so that is the sort of thing that courts are not willing to assume that Congress implicitly delegated those sort of questions. So does a statute, uh, does the text of a statute change simply because the problem is a big problem? No, no, Your Honor. It's not a matter of the text of the statute changing. The clear statement canon is a text-based canon. It looks at the words that we would expect to be in the statute. Now, certainly, if the statute clearly allows this power, we're not asking the court to ignore that because we would say that actually satisfies the clear statement. Thank you.